Of all the various forms of motorsport we'll be covering here on Mad and Max, none of them will come close to the drama and spectacle of drag racing. So we've come to Santa Pod today to have a look at the different classes and find out a bit more about what the sport is all about. Just in case you don't know the rules, drag racers race on a straight quarter mile track. Cars compete not only against each other, but also, since each run is timed, for the best time of the day. The fastest cars on the strip are the top fuel dragsters. Meet Barry Sheevels, top fuel drag racer and 1998 European top fuel champion. Barry, it's fair to say you are the most successful drag racer outside the States. Um, can you explain to us how you got into the sport? Uh, well, I came here to Santa Pod uh, probably 20 odd years ago now, and uh, we all, a group of guys in Nottingham, we were all into hot cars and putting big engines in cars, and we all decided to come down and race here at Santa Pod with uh, what you call a run what you brung. That's where you bring your street car down and you race each other against each other and get a time. So my car was a um, Ford Cortina GT and uh, slightly tuned and uh, it was pretty quick but it was good fun and uh, the, that particular day the, the only top fuel dragster in Europe was here testing and that was Commuter and as soon as I heard the uh, sound of the big V8 on Nitro I was hooked and uh, I realised that that's what I wanted to do, I wanted to drive a top fuel car and here we are like 20 years on and uh, I'm driving the state of the art top fuel car, it was built in the States. 6,000 horsepower, travels from 0 to 297 miles an hour in 4.9 seconds and on the particular run it, it, it will go from standstill to um, 118 miles an hour in 0 0.84 of a second. It's 30 foot long and it achieves that in 60 feet so in twice its own length it's getting up to over 100 miles an hour. So you're not hanging about it? No. What's it like to um, physically experience something like that? I mean, because most people could never even begin to understand. Well, it's a good question, and all I can say is there's nothing in normal life that you would ever compare to driving a top fuel dragster. When we hit the throttle, it's instant four and a half to five G. So basically, if you went to Alton Towers and got on every white knuckle ride at the same time, that's probably what it's going to feel like. You, you have to be so focused on what you're doing because, you know, like when you, if you hit the throttle and you pull 5G, if you're not ready for that, it'll take you by surprise. And, you know, I mean, you, you, it's serious horsepower. Is it a bit of an like, adrenaline junkie fix? Oh, yeah, definitely. And you know, I started, as I say, over 20 years ago in a street car. I've gone through all the classes of drag racing to the ultimate. And that's what it is. You're absolutely right. You're on an adrenaline fix. I'm addicted to doing this drag racing. Yeah. Drag racing isn't just about the high speed and the high cost of top fuel. It has strong numbers of followers who complete in all the lower classes. Meet drag racer Bob Doyne. What's the attraction of drag racing to you as a competitor? Uh, well, the thrill of speed. It's all in the speed, and I mean, you build a car which I built all myself, you know, and it, just the mere fact of getting quicker and quicker, just the speed, the adrenaline, and everything. This is a, an absolutely beautiful car based obviously in an old full pot, but can you give us a quick rundown on a, what class you're in and, and you know, how, how it's put together? Yeah. Well, basically, I built the car myself. It's based on an old Ford pot, but it's fiberglass body shell, it's a full tube chassis running a big block, Olsen uh, 580 brake horsepower. American back axle. Um, it runs, the quickest it's ever run is 9.8 on a quarter of a mile, but I run on Super Street, which is 10.90. Um, I do it to save the engine, so it makes it a little bit cheaper to run. So basically, I back the car off to run 10.90. It um, gets a speed of about 126 mile an hour in that, you know, in that class. It's fantastic. 
I mean this, it's so competitive, it's down to your reaction time off the lights as well. You know, like you can lose a, lose a race just on your reactions. And you've got, all these cars will run 10.90s, so it's won and lost on the start line. Before we say goodbye to Top Fuel Drag Racing, let me give you a few facts and figures. Your average family saloon will go from 0 to 60 in maybe a little under 10 seconds. In those same 10 seconds, Barry Sheebles will go from 0 to almost 300 miles an hour and back to 0 again. Think about that the next time you're sitting at a set of traffic lights.